Hi guys, welcome back to Silly Goose Creative Co. Today's project is really fun. It's a little messy, and so you're going to need a wet wipe or a paper towel, something nearby. Also, if you have some newspaper, a tablecloth that's made just for crafting, go on ahead and get that just in case. You hear, that means to pause the video and do the step that I just showed you. When you're finished, go on ahead and push play again and I'll show you the next step. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ready? Let's go. Do you like dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. What is your favorite dinosaur? Hmm. I think my favorite dinosaur is the Triceratops. I, I don't know, maybe the Pterodactyl. Maybe the T-Rex. Maybe the Brachiosaurus. <gasps> the Stegosaurus. It's the T-Rex. Definitely the T-Rex. You know, I can't pick. Maybe that's why I included all of the different silhouettes for you to choose from. That way, whichever one's your favorite, or if you wanna do all of them, you totally can. Okay, so for today, we need some Q-tips, a sponge, a glue stick, liquid glue, scissors, black tempura paint, that way it washes out. We need some colored paper. I'm gonna do four dinosaurs today. So I'll have four colors here. Then we also need our dinosaur outlines. This here online is also in the link down below. So you get to pick your dinosaur. We got a T-Rex, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Brachiosaurus, and a Stegosaurus. So you choose, which one are you gonna do? Step one is to cut these out. Cut out your dinosaur or if you're gonna do more than one dinosaur, cut them out. Ready, let's go. Here's a little trick when you're cutting out anything is to do a bubble cut first. And then go in and do all of these little details that are a little trickier to do. It's easier when your paper is already like, has a bubble cut around it, because then it's less paper to kind of get in your way. Now to do in these little nooks and crannies, take my scissors, they're like little alligator mouse, and I do a little bite, a little bite, meet in the middle. See that? Little dinosaur bites. Okay, we have a Brachiosaurus. We have a Pterodactyl, it's missing some fingers. We have a T-Rex, and we have a Triceratops. Now I'm noticing some white here. If you have some white on yours, try to get it as close to your dinosaur as possible, but don't freak out if you see that, not a big deal. Okay, so now we're going to take our colored paper, and we're going to glue our dinosaurs onto our colored paper. Now quick tip, remember, we put glue on the back of our smaller paper that we just cut out. In this case, it's the dinosaur. We do not put glue all over our colored paper because we end up getting glue everywhere and then when it dries, we still see that glue and it looks like a hot mess. We don't want a hot mess. It also will make your paper look really dirty. And let's face it, you're working on a masterpiece here. We don't want it to look dirty. Glue your dinosaur in the middle of your paper. You're gonna put glue on the back of your dino and then stick it like a sticker. Woohoo! hoo see any parts sticking up? Put some more glue on it. There we go. Dinosaur number one, Triceratops is done.
Brachiosaurus, Triceratops, oops, I'm sorry, a Pterodactyl, a T-Rex, and a Triceratops. Woohoo! Okay, cool. So what I suggest is to start cutting your Q-tips. Ready? Go. glue and we're going to squeeze it onto a plate. Now this is where it's nice to have a wet wipe nearby because your fingers are going to get a little messy, okay? So we're going to figure out where we want our dinosaur bones. I want mine just up there like that, okay? So then I'm gonna dip in place, okay? Dip in place. You try. Dip, dip, dip. Place, place, place. And then you wipe your fingers you need to wipe your fingers. Now I'm making this up as I go. You decide, hmm, maybe it goes this way. Maybe it goes that way. Or you can copycat me. That's totally fine too. Love it. Okay, dinosaur number one is done. Now I'm gonna let it sit and dry. This one fell off. Put some glue on it. Okay, now I'm gonna let it dry.
Okay, once you have all your dinosaur bones in place, all you're gonna do is set that to the side and let it dry. We will do the rest after it dries and it's gonna be fun. I'll see you then. So the next part, we are going to need some black paint, a sponge, and just to make things fun, a toothbrush. Now this is just for crafting, it's not a used toothbrush. Do not brush my teeth with this. This is just a cheap one from like the dollar store or something, and it's only for art projects. You should have a tablecloth or something to protect your table. And we're just going to dab that in and we're gonna kind of tap it just a little bit off to the side so we don't have a ton of paint on our sponge. Now, we're just going to add in some smudges. We can even go on to our dinosaur a little bit. Now we're not trying to get our whole paper black. There we go. Easy peasy. So it kind of looks like more like dirt or something. Now I'm going to use the toothbrush. Just to make it look kind of messy and dirty. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do the next one now. When you're done, dip that Q-tip in there. And give yourself a signature. I'm the same as a B. That looks super, super cool. Thanks for joining us. Remember, if you want that printable, it is down below in the uh, descriptions. And you know what? I'll see you next time.